Do you want to hear the most annoying noise in the world? No, not that one. This one. That is the most annoying noise in the world. That cracking and popping from the door. Every time you open it, nothing makes a car feel worse. And that is your culprit. Unfortunately, I have a bolt here in my check arm, which shouldn't be there, it should be a pin. But as you can see, the door, it pops and it moves. And that's the annoying part. Matter of fact, so annoying, you probably didn't hear me over it. Now the other door, also does it. That one has the factory pin. And as you can see, it pops and moves around because over time, the hole that the pin goes through will wear and enlarge and doesn't fit properly anymore. So in order to fix this, we're gonna change out the arm and we're gonna change out the bracket. Now I'm gonna do the driver's side first and first thing I'm gonna do is remove the nut and bolt in here that shouldn't be here in the first place. And with that done, we're gonna remove the check arm first. But in order to do that, we gotta get the door panel off, which if you don't know, consists of three screws, one there, one there, and one there. And I apologize, I was lying. There's a fourth screw here. So one, two, three, and then four. Now once that's off, just carefully pull your panel out. It's got little pops on it. You know what, I don't even wanna start on this side because I know this side on mine is loose. So I'm just gonna grab the bottom, pull, so you hear it pop. Excuse my kids screaming behind me. They're outside playing. So we're just gonna pull all that out. And, uh oh, forgot a screw. And now, we're nice and loose. So then just lift up. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Not sure if I can. And there we go. So anything left is to disconnect your door latch cables there, which again, let's see, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand because holding the camera not super easy to do while you're doing this. Pull those off, and that's that. Oh, yeah, forgot the wires. I always forget the wires. Once that's out, you gotta take out your speaker and it's gonna be behind here to get to your arm. Now with that out of the way, on the door, there are two little nuts right there. Mine are 10 millimeter. I have found out real quick my Jeep is different than others. So we're gonna loosen these to get this out of here. And there we go. Now before I put the new one in, I'm gonna take that off. All right, here's the new one that I got off eBay. Just a couple dollars, I don't even remember exactly. It was, I think it was less than $10, maybe it was like right at $10. But direct bolt up, goes right there. It even comes with a new pin, so we're good to go. So we're gonna take the new arm and we're gonna wiggle it in there, same way we took the old one out, and uh, bolt it in. So the new arm's on, the new bracket's on, so now I just need to get this pin in, but I'm gonna need both hands to do that. So I'll be right back. All right, because that's new and super tight, you definitely need two hands. I even busted my knuckle doing it. But it's in, and that is super tight. Super tight. And I just locked the door on me. Great. A few moments later. 
And once you got your speaker back in place, we're going to take our panel and put it on just the opposite of the way we took it off. Okay, I'm not trying to skip steps on you guys, just one hand is very hard. But once the latches are reattached, slide it right back down on the top and then just start pushing your tabs in. All the way around. Let's take all your screws back in. And you're done. Look at that. No noise. Isn't that great? Now, obviously, it doesn't make any sense to film the other side since it's the exact same thing as the driver's side, just the other side. But nothing feels better than to have a door that doesn't creak or rattle. Doesn't that sound better? I mean, nothing makes your truck sound more old and clunky and falling apart than a noisy door. So, this is a huge improvement for me. I'm sure it will be for you if you try it. Hopefully, it's been a little bit informative and, well, learn from my mistakes. Don't lock yourself out of the Jeep. Drop a like on the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next upload.